what's up guys in today's video i'm going to be telling you how to set up a enclosure for scolopendra dahani plings um in this video we'll show a scolopendra dahani tie red legged centipede that i got from callum ray his link will be in the um pinned comment so let's get into it so first off you'll need to have a look at the actual container itself so because this is only a pling a peedling I'll be using this up here, it's got a good lid which latches on pretty well and it has room for substrate space which is important for developing centipedes also it's large enough uh, with centipedes um, it needs to be the length of the centipede plus a third of the body so that's pretty easy, this will need an upgrade obviously because it's got the pendulum to honey get pretty big so, Next up, you'll need substrate. So what I've added is a couple of inches of substrate in here. Uh, this is just topsoil mix with a little bit of sphagnum moss, where you can do sand soil mixtures. You can use cocoa fiber. You can use really anything, so long as it's not too humid. Like it feels damp, but when you squeeze it, there's no water coming out. So this is perfect. Uh, you want it to be able to hold burrow through centipede as well, as these young centipedes will like to burrow. Next up, let's talk about decor. With younger centipedes, I use bits of bark like this. I also use moss for humidity, as you do not want your centipede to desiccate. So, we'll add these in, and then we shall rehouse the centipede. Let's get into so it. Here we have the little plink here. Let's add it into its new home, shall we? We <laughs> off under the bark. So, for other things, I don't really add water bowls as they tend to drown themselves. I feed plings once every three days on small feeders with um like roach nymphs, uh, stuff like that. I do not handle plings as they can be very, very fragile and obviously with Asian centipedes I do not recommend handling them at all. 